on a quick tech tip of how to create space in your music for your vocal without having to turn that vocal up and up so that it feels no longer a part of the track. The particular artist I'm using is a friend, Neo Soul Folk Artist Saad, a new release of his, in particular the single Never Come Back, which is out at Spotify and beyond. Check that out. So for this technique, I am grouping up all my musical instruments. So in this case, uh, field recordings, synths, strings, more strings, multiple pianos and bass. And they are all bust, or in this case, uh, the projects in Ableton, all grouped into my music bus. The project came to me in Ableton, so this is where I am showing this technique. The particular plugin I am using for this technique is F6 by Waves. It's a six band EQ, and like some of the modern EQs from FabFilter, Waves, etc., allows not just EQ but also adaptive EQ, i.e., frequency specific compression. So my vocals energy is mostly around this 2 kilohertz sort of area and that is the area within the music that I want to create a little pocket for my vocal. You can hopefully see there some compression occurring at this 2 kilohertz area. However, it is not using the music itself to trigger that compression. Rather, I have chosen a sidechain source that is external. And as I'm in Ableton, I've used the nice and easy sidechain selector here to choose my vocals. In this case, all my vocals grouped to an all vox bus. So the vocals, as they come in, are triggering this threshold. If I play before the vocals come in, no compression, and as the vocals come in, so I've simply set this threshold at a point where the vocals are exceeding it, causing compression, set my desired range of compression, ducking of the frequencies in that area on the music bus. I've set my cue width to decide how wide I want that pocket for the vocal. And furthermore, one thing I love about this F6 plugin is you can choose whether it's across the whole stereo field, or in this case, I just wanted to place for that vocal. This has been Chris Hancock with a tech tip. Hope that's helpful for you working with vocals and creating space in your music for those said vocals. This has been a quick, uh, quick time screen capture, so is in mono, but hopefully illustrative of this technique. All the best and happy mixing.